Hi everyone, thanks for venturing back to my channel. I have a project share today. Some little Valentine things that I have been working on. They're not exactly Valentine, but they're Valentines for my Valentine. So I said the other day in my Happy Mail video that I had been going through my stash, trying to scrap my stash like D from D Special Things here on YouTube. Thanks, D. Been doing a really good job at that. Um, so I went through my stuff and I discover I have no Valentine papers. I've got like just scraps, pieces and parts to work with. And so I wanted to do something really nice for my husband and my mom and my sisters and my son. And I couldn't find, you know, not enough to go around basically. So I thought I would just do a little project. And I had been watching everybody's YouTube videos. And the one that I remember the most is um, Anna. She's a Phallus 72 here on YouTube. And she did a this and that video where she showed she had some bookmarks that she had made. And so this is my bookmark that I made. I made this for my mom. And you can see how long it is. It's probably, it's like right at about 12 inches long. And it's that machine crocheted trim that you can get at Hobby Lobby and it also has let's see if we can get that to focus come on focus for me too much to look at there we go it has that uh, rosette with pearl trim that you can get on the roll at Hobby Lobby as well and I put these little to use these little clamps I put this little rose on there and on this end I did, I used one of these little word beads from Michael's and uh, these little square rondelles and I actually glued those in place so that it would sit more in the center as opposed to off center and uh, put a little key on there. This is always on one side and believe on the other and I did this little angel and I used a little round rondelle at the bottom and a bead cap so that she basically had like little feet and then I gave her a halo by turning the little silver bead cap upside down and so when you actually look at it like you know just kind of with it hanging it looks like she's got a halo and because my mama loves to sew I put a pair of scissors on here and I did this little mini spool and put that on there and I see that broke loose I need to glue that back down so but there's that and a little glass bead with a little rondelle so need to fix that but on the other end and yeah forgot one I can't even talk today uh, yeah cameo and I used these little um, wild orchid crafts and they're the miniature gardenia flowers and it's MKX 198 and they're the multi colors but for my mom see it's the mixed color package but for my mom I used the white ones because that's what she would like and I stickled them up and uh, put them on the back of that I just put two of them and put them back to back so I really like how that turned out and then on the other end same thing with the little satin flower there and then I did this big bling that I believe is a zoology and I got that at uh, it was a zoology button from Hobby Lobby and I used the neck size up gardenia flower on that and I stickled it and I don't know if you can actually see the sparkle on there if that's picking that up or not but um, that one was also one of the mixed color but it's the small gardenia flowers and it's QVR001 and it's the perfect size to fit on that and I actually I snipped the back of the button off on the back which was fine but that sat right down in there once I snipped the button off and it's just perfect fits great in there and my mama is an avid 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 reader and uh, she's going to absolutely love this little bookmark so there's that for her and my sisters my sisters also read but they also have coffee table books both of them different different books one sister has one about uh, trains and things like that 
and it's a big, beautiful, very well done book, and it sits on her coffee table. And then the other one has a book about fairies, and it has gilded pages in it. And it's really, really pretty, and she has it sitting on her coffee table as well. And so I wanted to do something nice for them because I don't, you know, know Valentine anything. And none of us really need to eat the chocolate. We will, but, you know, none of us need to, but, you know, we'll do it anyway. But so I dug around in my stuff, and I found this butterfly trim that I found at Hobby Lobby. I bought it by the yard, and because they're coffee table books, I made these both they're about 18 inches long, and they're the perfect fit for the coffee table book. So I thought I would do some sort of something, and you can see I have all this stuff sitting out here. Um, I have some little silver beads that, they're filigreed silver that came from Joann's. I have some Jesse James beads here that I really like, and uh, these are Jesse James beads also. These ones are white jade but they look kind of like milk glass when they're hanging and the light hits them but love that they're white jade so I'm going to use some of that stuff and a key for each of them and put those together and uh, one more time thank you Anna for your your this and that video because that was fabulous and I'm also going to use some of these little these little flowers that D sent me in my happy mail and uh, maybe incorporate those little hearts in there somehow. So I'm gonna figure that out and get these put together. And if I can and I have enough time before Valentine's Day, I'll show those to you finished. But if not, at least you know that there's a good start going on right there. And um, the other thing that I saw that Anna did in her video, um, one of her videos was a bow tutorial. And it was really super, super cute. And she actually did her little, what she called her Tilda-ish bows. And this one's not exactly Tilda-ish, but it's the same pattern that she did on her video. And I used the Tim Holtz alterations, and it's his bow tied die. And I actually used the two smallest ones. To make this and I stickled and this is just a an old Walmart not Walmart one of those Michaels flowers from the dollar bin and some it's kind of a almost metal paper but doesn't like to bend very well gets real big crimps in it when you when you try to bend it but not too bad for a first try and just little scraps. So I put that together. I'm definitely going to have to make some more of these. Thank you, Anna, for your tutorial on that because those are super, super nice. So one more time, that information came from AFALA72 here on YouTube. Her name is Anna, and she does really super, super awesome videos. And she's funny and <laughs> just absolutely adorable, and I love listening to her voice. She cracks me up. And also, thank you to D from D Special Things for these cute, cute little flowers and these absolutely adorable little hearts. So we are going to incorporate that somehow into this particular project. And there's that. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And thank you for sharing in my projects. And to all of my new subscribers, Thank you, thank you, thank you from the very bottom of my heart. You guys make all of this possible and make me want to get up and work even harder at getting some of this stuff done. And I am at the moment, I know I said this before in a previous video, but I'm saying it again. I am putting together a challenge giveaway for... Um, passing 100 subscribers. So stay tuned for that literally in the next day or two. So I'm thinking I might have that video up on Valentine's Day with all the information for it. So if you want to win a prize and um, help a sister out, then maybe you might want to join that um, challenge giveaway. So if you do, let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do for that. So it's not going to be anything too challenging, just a challenge, but not overly hard work and super, super simple for everybody to do. So if you like doing things like that, this one's going to be the one for you. So thanks everyone for watching. Thank you. Thank you to all my new subbies and to my original subbies. And um, 
hope we're here for a little bit longer. I've actually managed to pass my one year on YouTube and didn't do anything for that. Go figure. We'll get to that. But um, So maybe we'll combine those. Uh, 100 subbies and a one year on YouTube all together for one. So thanks everyone for watching. You guys all have a really nice day. I will talk to you later. Bye.